Fluent Vent Nightmare. Will my free home security operations center ever work? This is Cyber Defend Lab, episode number three. Once again, my name is KD. You're watching episode number three of my free home security operations center build. But today, I hit a wall. A big wall. Fluent Bit just wouldn't work. And without Fluent Bit, my free SOC lab is dead. If you're watching this, you've probably struggled with something cybersecurity related or tech related at some point in your life. Well, today I take you through my real world troubleshooting journey. I'll show you what worked. I'll show you what failed. I'll also show you why setting up a free home sock lab can be done with a little bit of troubleshooting. What's new in my world today? Well, FluentBit mysteriously disappeared from my system. Error logs flooded my screen. I tried everything. Did I succeed? No. But I will, and so will you. This is the reality of cybersecurity troubleshooting. Let's begin. My home sock lab setup. If you missed episodes number one and number two, let me catch you up. I built a home sock lab using AWS, Ubuntu, RSyslog, FluentBit, and Grafana. Episode number two was all about Grafana not showing up, not showing logs. I thought FluentBit was working, but upon double checking and triple checking, I was wrong. Now, in episode number three, I focus on troubleshooting FluentBit. My goal today, get FluentBit to work properly so that logs actually reach Grafana. Easy, right? No, not even close. Problem, FluentBit is installed, or is it? I tried starting FluentBit. I really tried starting FluentBit, but nothing happened. Weird, right? So I checked if FluentBit was actually installed. Here's the code I used. FluentBit was missing. Wait, what? I just installed this thing. Then I tried this command. Here's the code I used. Found it. FluentBit was hiding in here. Okay, mystery solved. But why was it installed there? Who knows? Whatever. Time to fix it. Manually fixing the path. Since FluentBit wasn't in the system path, I had to add it manually. Here's the code that I used. Now it worked. Success? Not yet. Troubleshooting continues. Starting FluentBit. All right, time to start FluentBit again. Here's the code that I used. FluentBit is now running, but here's the problem. Grafana still wasn't showing logs. FluentBit works, but Grafana is still broken. So here's where I'm at now. FluentBit is finally running after triple checking. Logs are being processed. Grafana still is not receiving logs. Okay, I solved one problem, but another one appeared. And that's how cybersecurity works. Debugging troubleshooting, but I'm not giving up. What's next? Episode number four. In episode number four, we'll continue troubleshooting our free home sock lab. We'll fix FluentBit's connection to Grafana. We'll make sure logs actually appear in Grafana, and we'll prove that building a sock at home for free is absolutely possible. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Drop a comment. Have you struggled with FluentBit or something similar? How did you fix it? Don't forget, turn on notifications. We're going to get this home sock lab fully operational together. Once again, my name is KD. Cybersecurity is about persistence. Troubleshooting never stops. But if you stay in the fight, we will all win. See you in episode number four. The end.